This is the Republic of Palestine, Texas, a country seceded from the nation. With permission, I, Detective Franklin D.Z. Astaire, have been stationed here to stop the country's forest and crime. The country has been split into three distinct parts, from the rich to the middle class to the poor, with my office in the middle. This is Detective D.Z. Astaire, Episode 2, The Broken Vase Case. Detective Disaster! Dizzy Esther. Come and see. What do you need? It's my shop. It's a Dizzy Esther. Disaster. Whatever. What I mean to say is that my shop has been vandalized. What is your shop? I own a pottery shop in the middle class section of the country. Okay, let me get straight. You're Peter Potter, and you own the pottery shop. Yes. <laughs> Done yet? Almost. <laughs> okay, get to the facts. Well, I was in my shop early this morning when three customers came in. Harold Watt, Bartholomew Knight, and Samantha Golden. While I was in my office, I heard two customers leave. The last one shut my office door and fired a warning shot. After they left, I came out and found the shop wrecked. I see. Was anything stolen? Yes. My prize handcrafted $149,000 two foot tall vase. I see. Alright, well, I'll just go investigate the crime scene. No! When what? some of the pottery broke, it released poisonous gases. If you go in there, you'll die. I barely made it out alive! Fine. I'll go investigate the suspects. Have any objection to that, Mr. Picky Pants? Ha ha, very funny. Wyatt, so nice of you to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I even here? Why did you wreck Peter's store? I didn't buy anything, let alone destroy the store. I was just there to annoy Potter. I'll remember that the next time we're around your bakery. If my bakery would accept people as lame as you. Fine. Don't tell me anything. But I got my eyes on you. Now, be gone! Samantha Golden, how have you been? Oh, well, I... It was rhetorical. Now, why did you wreck Peter's store? I would never... I would never steal anything from Mr. Potter. Well, then, I guess... Where is my crystal? Uh, what in the world are you talking about? Uh, yeah, what are you talking about? Where is my crystal? Peter! Uh, well, there was a small crystal on the front of the vase, but it actually was a large one that extended inside. Thou steal my crystal, then get stolen myself! Wait! <laughs> Thou dare stop me! Well, well, you see, I'm actually investigating the crime of the stolen crystal so I can get it back, but I kind of need him alive to do it. The light of God has shined upon you this day. Next time you won't be so lucky. Uh, thanks to thou eternally, my lord. Don't mock me, peasant! Samantha, I'm sorry for wasting your time, Miss Golden. You may go. Thank you. So, Mr. Knight, why did you steal Peter's vase? What kind of detective goes around accusing people for no reason? That's not very professional. I'm a detective. I have a badge around here somewhere. And I'm awesome. I can do whatever I want. And if I don't want to talk? You shall talk! Oh, Harrison, what are you doing here? Well, I was on my way out when I saw this character standing outside the wrecked pottery store. He asked, well, demanded me to tell him where the crystal was. I had no idea what he was talking about, of course. So I told him that you were working on the case. 
I knew he didn't know what pottery was, but I didn't think he'd be any trouble until I heard all the yelling from over here. So I came as fast as I could. Interesting story. But as long as you're here, you can help it. Where is Knight? He must have snuck out while there was still confusion. <sighs> Calm down. I can't. Why do all of you have to be so annoying? Calm down! Oh, by the way, what is pottery? I just don't get it. I bet it's Bartholomew. Why else would he have tried to escape? I think it's quiet. And if it isn't, then you should arrest him anyway. I think it's Miss Golden. Yeah. She seems very suspicious. I think it's him. I think it's her. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. If it actually is that thinky thingy you've got in your head, you might actually know who it is. Since I have been thinking, I do. Now let's go. I know which one of you took the diamond. So don't try to sneak out of it. Samantha Golden! Again with the random accusations. I've never been so insulted in all my life to be accused of something I didn't do twice in one day. Ah, but this time I have proof. I know that you couldn't have gotten out with the diamond without being seen, so you hit it to come back for it later. To make sure that nobody else found it, if you filled the pottery store with poisonous gases, I being so daring, or insane, decided to look inside the store despite what Peter said. And he said we're annoying. And discovered this, which Samantha <gasps> intended to collect tonight. story, but you don't have proof of anything. Ah, but remember, earlier, when I asked you why you had wrecked Peter's store, you told me that you would never steal anything of Mr. Peter's. You didn't know that anything was stolen, unless you were the one who stole it. Cue police officer! Alright, I did it. But it wasn't my... I think we wrapped up this mystery. So thou art the one who has stolen from me! Yeah, about that. I'll get her! I'll get her! <laughs> well, guess we'll just have to take this. Oh no, you don't! Oh my, uh, well, this is awkward. How, uh, how do we end the show? That's all, folks. Dan Weber, it has become known to me that your secret identity is Nerf Guy. I have a mission for you. It may be dangerous, but I know you're up to the task. First, you must sneak in to Detective Franklin Dezia Stairs' office. You will need to collect the top secret file. You will need the magnifying glass to decipher the secret code, since it is too small to read. Now you can figure out the cipher. Once you know who it is, go. It's Nerf 
or nothing. What do you want? You know what I want. Hey, leave me alone! I'll give it to you! I'm here. Do you have it? Yes. Is it? Aha! The Yogurt Land gift card! I knew you could do it. This is why you're my secretary. I know. Let's go.